Tom. Um, you're coming into this off the back of a couple of KOs after more submissions earlier in your career. Has anything changed your training to kind of improve that side of your game? My submission grappling. Uh, or my... To improve your KOs after... Oh, my KOs? Uh, you know, I'm, I've always got high-level boxing, sparring, you know. After the, my last fight, I jumped straight into the Lucien Butte camp, helping prepare for his fight with James DeGale. Uh, you know, I'm always, as I say, sparring high-level boxers. Um, I train my boxing coach, you know, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just training hard, working hard, getting them uh, hard rounds of sparring, hard rounds on the pads, the bags, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm growing and, you know, I'm, I'm better than ever. And what's it been like um, at TriStar with, you know, the great stable they've got? Yeah, as, you know, as always, it's, it's great, you know, and, you know, with, the, with my bonus, I used it to bring, bring people in, you know, like Gordon Ryan from Henzo Gracie, you know, talking with my jiu-jitsu, so, you know, camp's, camp's been great. And, uh, sorry, um, and last night you won performance of the night. Is that, do you feel there's a kind of pressure to put on a bit more of a show now that you're in the UK again? And... Uh, there's always a, you know, there's, there's pressure with every fight. You know, I'm, I'm an undefeated prospect. You know, I just deal with it. I get in there and I just do what I do. You know, come fight time, you're only going to do what you what you train to do. So, you know, it is what it is. You've been very respectful of your opponent, but you know, you're coming from two straight knockout wins, and you're facing a guy who I think many UFC fans might not even have heard of. Were you not expecting perhaps a more high-profile opponent, a bigger name? Ah, uh, not really. You know, uh, I'll fight anyone, anytime. You know, what I mean, it, to be the best, you gotta beat all all opponents. You know, and Nakamura, I got a lot of respect for him. You know, he's. 40 pro fights, you know, he was a Sengoku champion, you know, so it's it's a step up in my opinion, you know, it's a, it's a tougher fight than last time, you know, he's got a wealth of experience, so I'm happy with the opponent. And last time out, you dominated Kakal Pindred, and it seems like you sent him into retirement. Mm -hmm. how, how did you feel about, like, when you heard th those news that, like, I mean, he retired after but you knocked him out? Yeah, you, you know, he, he knows what's best for him. Uh, I try not to look into it too much, uh, you know, um, but... You know, you know, he could. He's, he's had a long career, a lot of wars, so he knows what's best for him, as I say. You know. And you know, you're like you said, an undefeated prospect. You're really making your way up the ranks. Do you feel like you've really established yourself, though? Like you're well known enough, or that like this fight here against Nakamura will perhaps be your big coming out party towards the mainstream fans? Uh, I suppose. You know, my, my popularity is growing every fight. You know, I mean, it, put on a good performance here. There's always, you know, I'd have to go and fight in front of the American audience and prove it to them. So, you know, I got, I got, I still got a lot to prove, you know. And, you know, when I've beaten those guys, they'll be like, okay, he's not fought a top ten opponent yet, so I've got to prove it against those guys. So you're proving yourself every fight. So, thank you. And, uh, you think there's, uh...